thanks for inviting me here to share the information from China. So, uh, I'll, uh, because I have two talks uh, this morning, I will give a very uh, brief introduction to the current status in China about the IPC development. So, I will cover the current status in China and the new uh, <coughs> uh, uh, project in China on IPC. So, uh, as you might know that uh, we are toward the end of the A63 key project this year. So this project developed two uh, leading class uh, high volume computer, that's a Tianhe 2 and a, a Sunway a Type of Light. And also we upgrade the uh, CN3, that's a national HPC environment, and exploring the new operational uh, mechanism and models for the uh, HPC environment. And we have also developed a, a set of larger scale parallel application software and build a cloud-like application village uh, over the same grid. So that's uh, two machines we have developed so far. The first one is uh, was delivered in 2013, the Tianhe 2. So it's a hypergenous system composed of uh, CPU plus uh, uh, mic processors. So as you might uh, all, all know that uh, it's a 55 petaflops machine and it's stored in uh, at the National Security Center in Guangzhou. So that system will be upgraded uh, to about 100 petaflops by the end of this year. So the second uh, 100 petaflop machine is uh, Sunway Type 2 Light. It's uh, installed uh, at the National Security Center in Wuxi. So it's a 125 petaflop system. So uh, regarding to the National High Box of the Building Environment, we have established China National Grid since 2002. So currently there are 14 uh, original sites and uh, plus three uh, national security centers. So this is a ge uh, geological, uh, geographical locations and also the resources uh, at each center. And the third part is the high volume computing uh, applications. So we have a, a developer center of parallel software uh, in aircraft design, in high-speed train design, uh, in oil and gas exploration, etc. So those uh, software have been applied to uh, responding, uh, responding uh, domains and uh, become a part of the production systems. And the new project, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, IPC has been identified as a priority uh, topic in China, again, uh, in 2015. So a proposal for the uh, 13 five-year plan on HPC was uh, submitted early on 2015 and uh, after a serious evaluation uh, it, uh, it was approved uh, in October of 2015 and the, the, the project was launched formally uh, in early of uh, 2016. So uh, the major uh, task of this project include uh, exascale computer development. So that means uh, we have to uh, conduct some uh, R&D uh, uh, technologies and also de deliver the system by the end of 2020. And also uh, to develop applications uh, because uh, we, we have to use our machines in the real applications. And then to upgrade our uh, HPC environment, that's, that's a China national grid. So each task will cover the basic research, technology development, and also the application demonstration. So I will give details of those uh, the development uh, in, in my uh, following uh, talk. So first call was uh, issued in uh, February of 2016. Na 19 projects was uh, approved and uh, launched in uh, July of 2016. The second call for 2017 was issued in October of 2016. So uh, the proposal evaluation has been ended and uh, the final results are to be announced very soon. So that, and the, the third call for 2018 has already been issued, uh, will be issued soon. It has it, already been issued for, uh, for recommendation and the excess scale computer development will be the major effort in the core of 2018. So we 
in the key project, uh, we have uh, several uh, key uh, uh, activities. Here are this the sum of examples. First of all, currently we are conducting the prototype development. That's a, a kind of first step towards the access scale. So three teams led by Sunway, uh, Tianke, and Suga uh, are conducting the research on the prototypes for the access scale systems. And also some uh, big applications, as we call the numerical devices. So it's a numerical aircraft, numerical earth, and numerical reactor, and numerical engines. So currently two numerical devices have been uh, launched. That's a, a numerical aircraft and numerical earth. And then we, we put our effort on the supporting uh, mechanism, the parallel programming framework, to support the development of large scale software. And then the, the environment itself. So we will uh, focus on the uh, mechanism and the platform for the national IPC uh, environment to provide the technical support for service mode operations and also to upgrade the, the resource and services uh, to a certain level. Uh, that's all. So the uh, details will be given in the following part. Okay. Thank you very much.